know, people just be mean. And fucking... People are bullies. Fucking bullies. Like, it sucks. Motherfuckers are bullies. And then they see you making money. You know, you would be amazed to see how many people hate you genuinely that you never knew. Like... I stay out the way I'm in my business, but there's probably so many people that hate me that I don't know just because of, like, what they think I got going on. They just hate you just for living. It's crazy. Like, I got people that probably hate me that I'm like, damn, I never even would have known, like, you know, because I'd be off in my own world minding my business doing me. It's crazy. How can, like, how can y'all hate me when I just mind my business and I'm, I'm always, like, I mind my business. I'm like, you don't see me in drama. Like, I'm unproblematic as fuck, literally. You don't see me talking shit. I don't even talk shit online. Like, I just be like, oh, okay. I don't even let I don't even like when people say mean things in the comment section, like I block them and I don't even like say shit back. Like the old me would have been like, oh yeah, you wanna take it there, but now I have so much to lose. I have so much to lose, so it's like I can't even go back and forth with people because I have too much to lose. Like and I feel like I want that for everybody. I want I want you guys to have so much to lose that when negativity comes your way, you're like, nah, hell no, nah. you good, we got, you got it, like, cause you got that much to lose, like that's how it should be. Never mind. Found it. False alarm. <laughs> I was about to be so annoyed. Like, bro. I just want to get the fuck out this house. <laughs> I just want to get out this house. <laughs> I thought my baby sister took my makeup brush. I'm like, what the fuck? God, do not have kids. Don't fucking have kids. I do not want kids for like a long ass time. And I know that sounds so selfish to say, like, oh, my God, why would you say you don't have kids? They're the best thing that could ever happen. But, like, just wait. That's why I don't have no kids. Because it's just too fucking much. Like, they get into everything. They damage everything. They fuck up shit. <sighs> when you have children, it's no coming back from it. <sighs> and hopefully you're married. Because, like, definitely don't have kids if you're not married. Like, that... That's a fucking scam. It's a scam. Don't do it. It's a setup. I would have I would totally advise you not to do that. Like God, when I date guys and I listen the way to the way that they talk about their baby mothers and then and then I'm dating them, it, it turns me the fuck off. Like I would hate to be that the other woman. I would hate to be your baby mama hate that like oh so ghetto 
Like, imagine me and somebody's baby mama. Imagine me, just these men, just, oh, I don't know if any, I don't know. I just don't want to be a baby mama. That's why I don't have no children. I just think that is just like, that would, that would, that would finish a bitch off. And then, and then these men want to bring babies, just period. How y'all bringing babies in the world and then you put a nigga on child support and he only paying fifty, a hundred dollars? Like what? I I wouldn't even like all the stories I've ever heard in my life. Like I swear to God, I would just be a single mom before I put a nigga on child support. Like at that point. And you and and, and as a man, you should feel ashamed of yourself to even think that that's okay. Like ashamed it's disgusting that's why that that's why i'm glad i don't got no fucking kids can't nobody be like yeah that's my baby mama ha psych <gasps> exactly like you are you what a fucking imbecile like you for you to speak bad i don't give a fuck about if 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 it's if it was a one night stand if a girl if a woman has your child like what a loser you know what i'm saying it's like you shouldn't even speak bad about nobody that gave you gave you put gave your child life it's crazy i don't care about what y'all go through and then to tell the next female about that Ugh, like it's a fucking turn off. So this is to all the men. When you go out on dates with women, don't talk, don't talk bad about your about your baby mama because the women are judging you. Whether you believe it or not, you're being judged. <sighs> exactly. Yeah, and I think a lot of people that needs to be talked about, like. Who the fuck wants to hear you out on a date with a man and next thing you know, he just gets to talk about my baby mama ain't shit and da da da. Like, who the fuck wants to hear about that? Like, bitch, we don't give a fuck. We don't care. Okay? We don't care. This is a turn off. I'm never, after I'm done eating this food, you'll never see me again. That's how I be feeling. Ugh. Like... Sitting up and talking about your baby mama. And sitting up and talking about your baby mama. Like, if you was that nigga, you don't you think Chris Brown, you think the niggas that really got it like that sit up and talk dog their baby mamas? They don't. You never you will never hear that type of shit. You might hear it online through gossip pages, but like real niggas do real things. Nobody's sitting up and bashing their baby mamas. It's so whack. It's like, ugh. You're broke and you have, you give me little dick syndrome. Like, no. Oh, anyway. How did I get my page back? Um, I have a page plug. I spent some money. Some money. <laughs> I, I spent some money. And I got my page back. Oh, I'm so glad my dude does not have children. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Because I just cannot deal with that shit. I don't know. I think me as a, like, a woman, whoever I date, you can't have kids. I'm sorry. Like, I tried to date guys with kids, but I don't have no children. So it just makes it awkward for me. Like, I don't have any children, but I'm about to date you, and you got kids, and this shit just getting awkward and more awkward. Like, I'm straight. <sighs> Share the plug. I can't say his name. You have to DM me, and before I give you my plug, you got to make sure you got at least $6,000, because if you ain't got six k, he is not going. At least. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, the guys with no kids really do be winning, like no cap. Mm. Ugh, when you get to a nigga that's like got his shit together, like owns businesses, and he don't have no children. What? You own businesses and you have no children? <laughs> hey, Mr. 
Mr. Man. Hey, King. <laughs> like, what? And he's so fine. Oh, my Jesus, is it you? It gotta be G. Oh my god. That shit just make me wanna. No! Look, that's how real it was. My phone fell. Mmm. Cause all these tired ass niggas with kids talking about you ain't got no kids. No, nigga, I don't. And you're not gonna be the one to try me. Having no fucking babies with you. Yeah, that is the biggest turn on. Mm. But I don't mind, like, I didn't used to mind men having kids. But at, since I got older and I started dating dudes with kids and they start thinking that they were the chase. And I was like, like I was, no, they were the catch and I was the chase. Nigga, please, you're, you the one that's old with fucking children. Okay. Go home, grandpa. You didn't forgot how old you was. The fuck? What's wrong with you? I'm not chasing no nigga. I don't even chase my fucking drink. You crazy as hell. Nigga, I'm about to chase a nigga. Like, what? I like older guys, but... Like, the dude I'm dating, he's older. He owns businesses. He, like... He really that nigga for real. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He's like got his shit together. He's super sweet. You know, it's just it's, I love it here. I love it. Seriously. <sighs> like sometimes it's not even about like I don't know, like sometimes it's about like just enjoying a person's company like y'all ever be around somebody and you just never want to leave them because it's the company because they just like you know the company is just amazing like you just like love being around that person they make you happy they make you laugh they bring out the best in you like as a woman you shouldn't want no dude that's toxic that's like making you be crazy and like no like no that's that's your spirit telling you like that's not right for you like he's not he's no good for you like he's toxic you know and for me i'm not i'm not into that toxic shit that shit is not cute like who the fuck wants to deal with someone that's making them be crazy and making them feel insecure like nobody wants that so i got rid of all my anyone that made me feel toxic and now I'm on to something new. I'm, I'm on to better things, you know? And you have to realize, like, you don't have to settle for anybody. Why would you have to settle? Like, you're young. You're beautiful. Even if you're not young, like, okay, you are you know you're good looking. You know all the assets you have to offer. Why the fuck would you have to settle? You got to really start asking yourself that. And start realizing, looking at the people you're with, like, you were never even good enough to even sit next to me. So the fact that I even gave you my energy, you should be grateful. And some people, you have to be like, you know what? You were a blessing to them and keep it moving. Because that's the best thing that will ever happen to them. Because they're miserable and where they are in life. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I don't even get mad at all the people I've given my energy to that never reciprocated it. Like men, females, it doesn't matter. I just be like, oh, I feel bad for you. But... I'm glad we got to spend time. I hope you learned something and I'm going to keep it moving. You know? Simple as that. Because <sighs> we're too blessed to be stressed. Period. But anyway. What should I wear today? I need to figure out what I'm about to wear. Hit my homegirl up. I need to make my bed. Don't judge me. <laughs> Listen, I've been so busy. You're right. I'm going to make my bed. I always do. But I've been busy. I just changed the sheets. I just did laundry. It's It's been a lot. 
a whole lot of gang shit going on. <laughs> Somebody tell me, make your bed, child. <laughs> I know. My dude was saying that like, damn, bitch. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> When Future made that song, I Never Liked You. Oh, my God. When I tell y'all I feel that way deep in my heart. Like, y'all ever be wanting to text a motherfucker? Like, I never even liked you. <laughs> I be wanting to text my ex that. Oh. Hey, bitch. Want this? I was on the phone. I was on it live. Listen. Oh. Y'all take some. Bitch, where was you at? Girl, I, girl, I had got in the gym. Y'all ain't gonna change my clothes. I'm gonna let see for yeah, you, you said you're going to end up getting messy? Oh. You, you came go? from work? Uh -uh, oh. Bitch, no. Where, where, let's go somewhere. Can we be outside? Okay, well, fuck it, bitch. I'll come. Well, I'll probably come later because there don't be shit going on day shift. Huh? Where am I about to go? Oh, see my homegirl. Oh, crazy. Oh. Yeah, bitch. You scared the fuck? You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> scared the dog. This bitch scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Shit, I mean, don't get me wrong. I literally, um, I be going through shit. Like, I mean, I'm not perfect. Like, trust me, I got a lot of getting, I got a lot of getting my shit together to do. Like, a lot. I have my shit together for the most part, but I mean, I still got a lot of shit going on where I gotta get my shit together. I literally do. when people be hitting you up talking about let's fly to LA fly here fly there bitch what do y'all think I'm not I just can't be that fucking accessible like flying out all over the fucking place what's there oh that's so sweet she picked that up for me she's so sweet thank you huh Thanks, Boo. This is so sweet of you, Boo. You did not have to bring me these tacos. You sure? Bitch, because before I bang them, I got to know that you really don't want them. Because <laughs> my fat ass is about to tear these the fuck up. My homegirl is so sweet. She literally just came here and brought me tacos, like, randomly. I have the sweetest fucking friends. I'm about to cry. I'm about to start crying. Like, cause who does that? Like, she was just thinking about me. Like, so fucking sweet. I love my friends, but I think it's cause I'm a good friend, my damn self. I always think about people. Like, I'm always so genuine, generous, and genuine. Yes, mom. Why would she be at home? Here, put this on here. All right, hold on. Okay. Of course, here, here, here. Damn. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. That was so sweet of you to pick up all that stuff. That was really nice. You heard me? Oh no, I'm just appreciative because you don't have to do that. So nice of her. Mm. 
<sighs> Thank God I did this makeup because boy. I just get tired of doing my fucking makeup. Like that's why I don't be wearing makeup. Because who the fuck wants to be doing that shit every fucking day? Like, you know. I don't even wear makeup. Like I just have to for like pictures and shit. I don't really have to have to, but I do. I'll be feeling dusty when I wear makeup for my pictures. Wait till my dude comes back from training. But why not? Because literally, please. Over this shit. <sighs> I miss him so much. Did I ever find a suitcase? I did. That's where I went. I went to Marshall's. I didn't um I didn't even end up buying one. Oh, it smelled like weed. You were smoking? Oh, it's the candle. Yeah. I'm like, the little weed. <laughs> the girlies are smoking weed. <laughs> you said give you some. I'll call my homeboy. Hold on. The girlies are blowing. <laughs> This pimple will not let me be great. It was so nasty. Oh, I was just thinking. You said what happened? Only, hold on. Damn, this shit is loud. Where is the fucking remote? Because, god damn. I can't even hear myself think. Shit. Anyway, what'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, period. But what we gonna do? We gotta go somewhere. Because I, I, bitch, this is not. Oh! I need my nigga to get from out of town. I'd be so bored with my life without him. 25. <laughs> Bitch, why do you keep saying that? I'm not. No, I'm not. That's not even a... Bitch, that's not even... He don't feel like nothing. Girl, he was just saying that. He does not feel like that. If he really... He do not feel like that. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> what? What's? The oh damn! My phone on one percent. No, I'm not there. I'm in Atlanta still. He called. He tried to call you. Yeah. <laughs> After that situation, yeah. what? Did you bitch. Why is he not blocked? Yeah. Oh no! Nah. How do you know it was him? Yeah. I've been like, don't fucking call me, nigga. You weird as hell. Don't fucking call me. What are you talking about? You want to go for a drive? Come on, I'm about to take you. I would be like, I made a whole police report on you. Don't fucking call my phone, bitch. <laughs> right, you right. Bitch, you caught the police on me. Give me 
Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Acting crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna get me fired. I'm gonna go keep on. You know, he like, hurry up, hurry up. What? Right. I lied and said I was just your What? Which one is this one? The car. Just give, give me oh. some help. Yeah. Rotors. Okay, yeah. I gotta say, I'm about to go see brakes and rotors. Yeah. Brakes and rotors. Bitch, I'm the. Who, who's I on the phone with? I was talking to somebody and she was like, I was like, oh, I'm with a nigga. And they was like, which one? <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, why would you say that? And I just said, I'm with this nigga. She like, oh my God, bitch, I'm high. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't you, princess. No, that wasn't you. I was on the phone with somebody. And I was like, I'm with so and so. And it was like, which one? I'm like, what the fuck? And the nigga was looking at me crazy, like, bitch. Get you a little bit activated. She be out. She be telling you. She be acting. She be acting different. Hey, hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. I said, give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug. No, cause she don't want to get up there right now. Let her down. Let her put her down for a second. She doesn't want to. She don't want. She in her own world. Hey. Girl, you're trying to be invasive now. Stop. Mm. Right. Trying to run. Wait a minute. My bad. My phone. Now you know my phone always got me. Let me see Gigi. You can't see me, girl. I don't think so. So funny. You can't see me. All right, call me. Not. Okay. Not. Not as calling one of her dudes breaks and rotors. Yahoo. At least he did that. I was just watching Claude. She was like, it's nothing more useless than a useless man. Oh, my God. Girl, if you don't say it again. You the worst kind of nigga. You, I mean, a useless man? Oh, no. Nah. That's it. No, don't go there. Let me move on. Oh, oh, my God. I was trying to set the food down. I didn't even hear you. You moved up. Texting me, what is that? What? I hate when people text me dumb shit. What the fuck? Bye, you guys. I gotta be outside. Go pick my blood from the airport.